Welcome to Daily Dose of Medicine. Today we're going to discuss infantile botulism and stay with us to learn more about this topic. Infant botulism is a rare but serious gastrointestinal condition caused by exposure to Clostridium botulinum spores. It's a anaerobic bacteria and bacteria from the spores can grow and multiply in a baby's intestines producing a dangerous toxin. And you can see one of the babies that has infantile botulism from this picture. It's floppy and that's why we are also calling it floppy baby syndrome. And if doctors can catch infant botulism early, they can successfully treat it with no long-term effects for the child. In infant botulism, the baby does not ingest the toxin. Instead, spores from the botulism bacteria produce toxin in the baby's immature digestive tract. The toxins then travel to the baby's nerve cell, leading to characteristic symptoms of weakness and the floppy infant syndrome. Constipation is often the first sign that you're going to see and in foodborne botulism symptoms generally begin 18 to 36 hours after eating a contaminated food. After constipation, what you can see is poor feeding, tosis, which means drooping or falling of the upper eyelid, which you can see from this picture, sluggish pupils, flattened facial expression, diminished suck and gag reflexes, weak and altered cry, and lastly respiratory difficulty and possibly respiratory arrest. That is what can cause death. And about 100 babies in a year in the United States will develop infant botulism. It can affect babies up to age one, but it's most common between three weeks and six months. And honey can contain the bacteria that causes infant botulism. So do not feed honey to the children younger than 12 months. And honey is safe for people one year of age and older. And honey is one of the most common sources of botulism. About 20% of all botulism cases involve honey or corn syrup. And you should also be careful about home canned food because they can also be contaminated with Clostridium botulinum spores. And to protect your baby from infant botulism, avoid potentially contaminated soil or dust. Soil can contain Clostridium botulinum spores which can circulate in the air and be inhaled into the lungs. And when preparing homemade baby food, parents and caregivers should adequately cook the vegetables. Cooking can help kill the bacteria and reduce the risk of accidental ingestion. Lastly, let's talk about the treatment. Generally, infants are hospitalized and supportive care given as needed. And as opposed to botulism in adults, treating infant botulism with horse antiserum was not approved due to several safety issues. This restriction has led to development of human botulism immune globulin intravenous and we are treating this condition with this and that is the end of the video if you liked it please push that like button subscribe to my channel and see you on the next video